Hi, my name is Avril Sorter and welcome to this short clip. What we're going to be taking a look at today is how I can use the Microsoft Event Viewer to take a look at some of the network messaging. Now, Event Viewer is primarily for looking at what's happening in the Windows client or the Windows server, but there are some valuable network aspects that I can look at too. So let's bring up Event Viewer. Now the Event Viewer captures all the significant events that happens within the Windows environment and that includes some of the networking events as well. Now we're going to take a look at these Windows logs and the one we're going to select is the system log. The system log would include events about Windows 7 such as services that are starting or stopping. It also include hardware, driver events, etc. Clearly you can see here that I have over 61,000 events that have been logged, so we need to filter those down to something we're actually looking for. So I'm going to come over here on the right hand side and select filter current log. So this brings up a pop-up window that then allows me to create my filter. So if I just made some network changes, then I could select here, maybe just the last 12 hours, 24 hours, etc. I can select the type of event if I'm looking for critical errors or warnings. These are the dominant ones you want to take a look at. Here I've selected that I want the systems event log. And so the source that I'm going to take a look for today is TCP IP. And I want to see what's happening with my network connections. Select OK. And then you can see that now all of my events have been filtered and I'm just showing the TCP IP events. So by clicking on one of these error messages, it gives me a description in the box below about what the problem is. And this was when I was actually redefining my network, when I was rewiring everything and I was having problems connecting with my desktop. And you can see the problem was that I was getting an address conflict. Armed with this information, I was then able to go off and troubleshoot that problem and get my network connected correctly. The other thing I want to show you is how I can also take a look at the Microsoft Windows diagnostic networking capabilities. And so here I'm just going to clear this filter and then I'm going to refilter it. And this time, instead of putting the event source as TCP IP, down here, I'm going to key in certain event types. And the event types I'm going to key in is number 4000, 5000, and 6100. Now the 4000 shows me that troubleshooting problems were presented to the user. 5000 shows me the results of how that user responded to those troubleshooting questions. And 6001, that'll actually give me the Windows Diagnostic Networking messages as well. Now you can see that it's sorted by the event type and you can see the event. I just have 10 events and you can see they go back to when I was networking my home office. And you can see here that I've got some type 6100 and again that's the Microsoft Windows Diagnostic Networking. Here is when the diagnosis of the machine was presented to the user itself. And here you can actually see that I ran that diagnostics and the result of that diagnostic was executed and was successful. So again, very interesting to go in here and select certain IDs that you might be looking for to see what's happening in terms of the network when it comes to a Windows client or a Windows server environment. Thank you for listening to this short clip.